Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today, I wanna to take a moment to share with you guys a new product I didn't really know existed, and I think it solves some major problems. If it solves a problem, then I am all for sharing it with you guys. So let's go ahead and take a look, and today we're gonna to be talking about bits. These hexagonal quarter inch bits. Coming up next, right here. I'm Better Biomed. Hey guys, these are all quarter inch bits and you can see they're all different dimensions and they often come in these type of cases. Now, you can tell here in my shop, I have them all kind of thrown together because it doesn't really matter. These all sit in a drawer in a container like this and I sift through for the one I want. Not the best system in the world, but as you can see, I have a huge variety of bits. There's gotta be a better way. The containers that I use for organizing them, they waste a lot of space, a lot of space, and they add weight. So if you add one of these in your tool bag, you can see I have what, maybe 15, 20 bits in this. All this weight for 15, 20 bits doesn't completely make sense. And furthermore, you can see I'm missing bits. Where'd they go? I don't know. You know, some of them are just tossed in there because they're an odd shape. There's got to be a better way. This is a pretty typical one. I like the DeWalt bits. I've used many of them. This one over here. It's the same, but uh, you can see the configuration. That's how many of them come. Putting these bits back into these holders is a bear. It's an absolute pain in the butt. And these ones over here are just a little bit better, but still, you can see it doesn't hold as many. Kind of cumbersome. And that brings you to these cheaper kits like this, which have maybe a little bit better organization. There's a lot of bits in here. But you can see some of them just fall out. Really bad retention. And how many of you guys have accidentally let this thing tip over and your bits go everywhere? It's chaos. There has got to be a better way. In comes this solution that a buddy of mine posted on Facebook. And I said, you have got to be kidding me. That completely makes sense. So I bought a few of them because I've got metric bits, I've got standard bits, and I have a set of torques that are going to be coming in. So let's go ahead and take a look at these bit organizers. You can see that they just kind of free for all. Now I don't necessarily know if I like the carabiner or not, but you can see that the way that they're retained is there's the slip sleeve right here. And when you release the catch, they fall right out. How crazy is that? So these are all brand new bits. These are gonna be in my tool kit. And that's because bits are technically consumable, as most tools are. But these ones here, I like having complete sets. But if you can imagine me hauling metric, standard, and Torx in a tool kit, and I have definitely tipped these things over, so get that guy out of here. I have had many of these. I've got three or four or five of these in my tool bag right now, or actually in my rolling tool kit that you guys have seen. Um, I do have like two of these in my tool bag itself. That is going to pass. And you can see the dimensions of a traditional bit, especially these longer ones. They have this retention collar right here. Well, these ones do not have that retention collar, and I thought that it might be an issue. And here are some of the larger ones which do not have that, and I'm really pulling on it, and I cannot get that guy to come out. So I just pull the sleeve a little bit, and look at that. It pops right off. How crazy. So these guys right here, I found them on Amazon, I think for a 10-piece you can find them for around 10 to $20 for a 10 pack. So I got three of them here. And yes, it is an investment, but when it comes to organizing your bits in the field, 
I honestly think that there's no better way than this. Now, the only thing I wish it had was a reverse action slip collar, which this one here, you see I have to push it forward to release the bit. I wish I would pull it back because what happens is when you're pulling these out of your tool bag, there's a good chance that some of these collars are gonna catch on something and drop the bits. That is a problem I might experience. I'm not really sure yet, but on the same point, I might just clip the carabiners on the outside of my tool bag and I'm good to go anyway. But um, I do wish that they had reverse action. These ones here, you have to push them uh, towards the bit in order to release the bit. But regardless, the retention is there. Like I cannot pull these things out for the life of me. And here you can see I've got a few extras. I might include some longer bits in the kits just because it just makes sense. Maybe I'll make up another ring for these guys, like maybe some longer ones, you know, a number two Phillips, like these ones, maybe a uh, couple of the longer torques. And maybe I'll keep that off to the side, but I got three of them, metric, standard, and torques. And I might use some of my extras because those are nine and eight piece respectively. I might use some of my extras to carry a few extra long bits and just get rid of those hard plastic cases completely completely now the security bits unfortunately like you still have to keep this kit around but opening this in the field is a disaster waiting to happen keeping your bits thrown around is a good way to lose them not a good solution and these kits right here it looks like a good idea at the time but what most people do is they rip the bits out and then just throw them in there loose leaf kind of like i got this guy just thrown in there so that is very common that people just throw bits into one of these and then they open it up in the field and sift through all their bits. Again, you drop it, you have a mess. And if you miss one of your bits, let's say I lose this guy right here, now my entire set is less effective. So that's why I, I believe in organizing your bits, keeping them nice and neat and reducing weight. What a good solution, guys. I'm gonna leave the link to these in the description below. These bit retention sets found on Amazon. Thanks for watching, guys.